So it's important to have what I call a small baby system. Uh, when I came to University of Iowa, Dr. Bell basically already had that in place. We had a unit at that time of about 11 beds where all babies less than 30 weeks um, were admitted and that you had well-trained nurses for that population and had a, had a team just dedicated to that population. And we've continued pushing that forward for the, for the next 30 years. So it's important to have a dedicated, integrated structure and culture for extremely premature infants. The system is the star. And the system are all these people here. This is not the neonatologist. This is the baby and the family. They're here. The neonatologist is just one of the huge members of this team. So currently we have what we call our, our Bay One or neonatal critical care unit. This is a separate dedicated unit of 14 beds. Um, we admit all babies less than 28 weeks are admitted here as well as the most critically ill term infants. So it's not just a small baby unit, but it's a very intense area so that the nurses get experience managing the cardiopulmonary challenges of diaphragmatic hernias as well as 22 week uh, babies. Um, there's a separate nursing staff that basically just staffs here. It's hard for a nurse to get good at caring for babies who do not have keratinized skin. If they care for one 22 weeker uh, every two years, it's better for them to caring for multiple 22 and 23 weekers every month so they get the experience. Um, it's a separate location. It's the closest area of our unit to labor and delivery. So most of these tiny babies, their 10 minute APGAR is done in the NICU. They're already on a jet ventilator at that point. We have a separate critical care lab just for the NICU. So we're not waiting 45 minutes to get a blood gas or glucose result. And importantly, there's a separate medical team that focuses on just these 12 to 13 patients. You have to spend a lot of time fine tuning at 22 and 23 weeks. You can't get overwhelmed having to run on another 20 patients who are not who are relatively stable and doing discharge planning. You have to really spend a lot of time focused on titrating the care on these patients, especially in the first two weeks of life. So we have a separate attending service. I might call them needed intensivists. We have a fellow nurse practitioners, residents, dietitians, pharmacists, respiratory therapists. That, that basically round on this population so we get input from all the subspecialties at once.